In this short video tutorial, we'll learn how to convert a string value to a datetime value by using the parse function given to us by the datetime structure in C Sharp. In one of the previous videos, we understood how to convert a string to a datetime by using the to datetime function which we get from the convert class in C Sharp. But in this video, we'll understand how to convert a string into datetime by making use of the parse function in C Sharp. So I've created a string variable str. I've created a string variable str and I have given it a date value in double quotes, which means it's a string. So the date time structure in C sharp, if you put the dot operator after date time, you will notice that it gives us a function by the name parse. So if you give a string value as an argument or as an input to the parse function, it will convert it into a date time, a date and time value, and it will store it in the date time variable. Let's run this program and see if we get the correct output with the code that we have written. So as of now, str has the date value in double quotes, which means it's a string, and the variable dt has uh, the the default date value which means that no date has been given to this variable as of now. So if we run this line of code, notice that the dt variable, which is the date time uh, type variable, has got a valid date value, which is uh, 24th of March 2018. So and I, I only gave it a date value. So the time is has been set to 12.00 AM by default. So this is how you can use the parse function given to us by the date time structure to convert a string value into a valid date time value. Also, you need to un uh, you need to remember that when you are converting a string into a date time, that string should have a valid date time value. Otherwise, the parse function will not be able to convert it into the date time and it will throw an exception. So with this, we'll end the short this short tutorial here. For more free C sharp learning content, please visit openeschool.com slash learn C sharp. Also, please subscribe to our channel to get regular updates on the new videos that we add. Thank you.